Well, g'day everybody and welcome to our first look at Airport CEO. Thank you very much to the devs for offering the channel a key to review this uh, and to have a look at it. Personally, these type of games are something that I absolutely love. I absolutely love these as a personal game to sit down and uh, just relax and uh, manage, you know, manage an airport, manage a prison, manage uh, whatever, and uh, to be able to create the infrastructure. This game is all about creating the infrastructure and uh, operating an airport. I will have a link in the uh, description below if you want to get yourself a copy of this. I'll have a link to the Steam page for this. Uh, let's get straight into beginning a new adventure. Uh, let's see, I need to go... Uh, yeah, I need to go Mr. Moustache Man, I think. And... Uh, <clears throat> let's see um oh what, what eyes have we got yeah yeah yep that looks pretty cool uh what mouth have we got yeah a little bit of luba lip um suit oh that looks very very fancy right there first name sim oh that's pretty cool uh second name idiom let's continue on with that now we need to select a location for our airport so i'm going to go in oz I'm going to go right in the center, actually. I'm going to go right in the center of Oz. So I'm going to go down there somewhere. <laughs> yes. I have no idea where that is. Alice Springs. It's, there we go. That's, well, not that I have no idea, but uh, I didn't realize that I got it almost spot on Alice Springs. So Alice Springs sounds good. Uh, let's call it uh, Alice Springs. Of course, we might as well. And uh, as, uh, let's call it, uh, ASP is uh, will be the uh, the three point. Now let's have a look. There there is uh, so many logos in here. So many logos. I know which one I want to go. Uh, I want to go the classic old time. Look at that ASP airfield. Um, now we've got large map and uh, the settings on. Uh, if we go sandbox mode settings uh we'll turn off unlimited funds i like to go sandbox mode uh we'll keep everything else on all projects uh, unlocked no uh all areas unlocked no unlimited flights no emergencies disabled yeah uh, no and animals disabled no so we'll just keep um uh Actually, we don't want any of that, do we? So no unlimited funds, no, uh, we want the economy simulation. We want the uh, construction simulation. Um, yep, all right, beautiful. We'll apply that. There we are, that is awesome, and we shall launch. Let's get into it. I am super excited about this, guys. Super, super duper excited. I've actually been looking at this game, so, um, for, as a personal game, as I said. All right, here we are. Welcome to your airport grounds. Is this your first day on the job? Then let's go through this short introduction together. We are going to do the introduction, guys. Absolutely. Uh, this is a very, as you'll see as we go into it, this is a very, very complex game. I love the fact that they've done the right color landscape for Alice Springs too. That is awesome. Let's start the introduction. Uh, this is the Bill Payne we're, uh, plane uh, panel. It's not a plane, it's a panel simi, where all airport related structures and items can be found. Uh, some objects are not yet available and need to be unlocked from the R&D panel. Uh, this is the management panel, shortcut uh, is the tab. It is the most important panel covering all aspects of, the, um, of being a CEO. From the economy tab, you can view your budget, accept contract orders, new products and take out loans. Uh, the Operations tab allows you to toggle airport services as well as open the airport and allow general, av general aviation to use your airport. Uh, from the Construction panel, you can deploy contractors to help you build your airport. Beautiful. Uh, to the right is the Airport Rating panel. It's an indication of how well your airport's doing. Hover over the icons, which is down here, guys. And uh, at the moment, there's, there's no... Uh, there's nothing because we haven't even opened our airport yet. So there's no ratings on it. Uh, looks like you've received a new email from the mayor. Click the email button to read it, which is down here. 
Okay, welcome to your airport. Thank you for our last. Uh, thank you for our last meeting. I hope you like your new job. I know it isn't much at this point, but hopefully you'll do better than the last person who tried to build our town's proud airport. You've got a lot of work ahead of you, so you'd better get to it. I can't give you any tips because I really don't know how to run an airport, but let me remind you that you have a budget to keep and we count on you to get this place making a profit. Good luck and we'll talk soon. Here's the most important thing you need to know. Press tab to access the uh, management panel and press H to access the tutorial. We at the city office want to get a flying start. Ha 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 ha. So I've asked a few people with inside knowledge of airport operations to contact you via email over the day or so to make sure, uh, so make sure to watch your email inbox. Best of luck, Mary Mary. Okay, beautiful. Perfect. So we've done that by pressing F uh, or the leftmost uh, icon on the bottom field, you will open the flight planner. Once you've signed your first airline contract and build an airport suitable for commercial flights, this is where you will schedule them. Beautiful. Well done. There's so much more to do and learn by yourself from this point on. If you press H, uh, yep, you can do that. No worries. All right. So what we're going to do now is the first thing that we need to do, guys, is we are going to need to build ourselves a runway. Now we have $3 million. So I started off on easy. $3 million is a fair bit. So what we want to do for starters is um, we want to, uh, this, this is all terminal building stuff. Um, we basically, what we want to do is um, we need to like place an airport for starters. So we'll go into airport infrastructure. We'll go to runways. Now we've got a small runway. We've got a small grass runway can be upgraded for better durability. Uh, $100,000 to um, to build. Uh, operating costs $300. Uh, and this one is 150 construction cost and operating cost 200. So it seems a little bit cheaper, doesn't it? So what we're going to do is I'm going to throw this all the way out here. I'm going to go all the way out to probably about there, I think, right there. Uh, I want to keep it away from uh, what's going to be our terminal level uh, area, which is uh, probably probably around here, I would say, because we will end up having probably cross runways and stuff later on in the future. So, so we have built that. The next thing that we need to do is uh, we need to build runway ramps. We are going to do... Um, these ones uh, cost $6,000, operating costs three thirty-three. dollars So I'm just going to rotate these around, and these need to be placed at the ends of the air, of the uh, runway itself. So we'll place one there and one there. That is perfect. I'm happy with that. The next thing that we need to do is we need to build ourselves a taxiway. Um, so we will what we will need to do is we will need to join these two together. So I'm going to go four, five wide on both ends of that, like so. And that gives us a, um, that gives us a little run in the middle um, of, um, of a center taxiway line. So we've got two on each side of the center line. Uh, the other thing that we need to do is we need to do a taxiway path. I'm not sure whether we can do that yet. Yes, we can. That's like that, that's perfect, and like that, that is good. Beautiful. All right, so let's uh, just go back into, I'll right click on that. So as you can see, that's all in blueprint mode at the moment. Um, so airports complex uh, mega structures. So it's best to start with small airfield when learning the basics of airport operation. Remember that you can give um, you can view the checklist at any time by pressing the checklist button next to the close button. If you want to make sure you've completed current steps, uh, if you need, you can find detailed. Uh, yep, no worries. Let's just uh, get out of that. Um, okay, so now we need to sign a contract with a contractor. Um, so we need to open up the the economy tab, which is up here. Now uh, we've got a contracts offered contracts here. We've got a couple of different contracts: Brickley and Highway. One has three stars. One has two stars. Now, if you if you click on that. Uh, it'll give you information. So for Brickley, we've got maximum contract is 121. Hourly free fee per contract is $6.50. If we click on that one, uh, $9.10 uh, and minimum contract is 66. So we're better off signing this contract because it's a cheaper one, but they have a better star. So let's sign that contract there. Beautiful. 
Okay, so now we need to uh, deploy contractors, which is uh, in operations, I think. Yep, up here, construction. So here's your contractors. We've got 121 contractors available. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go probably about 90. So I'm just going to run this down. Uh, I want to just hold on to a couple just in case. So just in case we need to deploy more. So we will deploy those guys. Perfect. And we shall get out of that there. Now what should happen is we should see some uh, some contractors arriving here. This is the contract muster yard. So we will uh, we will wait for those guys to... Oh, we're in, we're in pause mode. We'll wait until these... Here they come now. So they are arriving and in they go. Beautiful. Let's, uh, let's just have a zoom in on that. Nice. I do like the artwork in this. It it does it does seem you know quite square and um and uh, and and simple, but it actually really really suits the game. All right, this truck here I'm I'm guessing is materials. Okay, time to get your hands there. Let's get started with all airport construction. Yep, no worries. Um, so what we need to do now is place four small stands. Now. What I'm going to do is I think I'm going to place these stands here somewhere. Um, so they will be in the aircraft infrastructure uh, and they should be in, st they should be here somewhere. We're about taxiway found aircraft stand right there. And we will do, we will do bitumen ones um, just to, just to, to sort of stick with what we've done. Now we've got one end, which is the aircraft end and one end, which is the, um, which is the uh, the like the baggage kind of end, the, the service vehicle end. So what I want to do is I want to sit those probably about there. So we'll go one, um, two, three, four, five. Now they're not connected at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to connect them with a uh, with a service road. Uh, with a taxiway, my apologies. Uh, small runway, where's our taxiway? Taxiway foundation, right there. And I'm going to throw that in there like that to connect those to the runway. Beautiful. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do uh, is... So all those contractors, as you can see, they're all moving out here. <laughs> <They're> all... <laughs> Imagine if con construction was like that. Everybody just carries all the materials over and, and off they go. So you can see they're starting to build that. The next thing that we need to make sure that we do before we build a tower is we need to make sure that uh, that these are connected to the taxiways. So we are going to do that because as you can see, they've got little red marks on them. There we go. I'm a little bit of a, an airport uh, and uh, aviation buff. So uh, what's this saying? Uh, must be placed on built taxiway foundation. Okay, so it's being it's being placed on a built. They're, they're slowly building it now. Um, so so I, I'm just leaving a little bit of a gap going on to there. And uh, at some point in time, I will probably delete all of these and uh, and relocate them and have a big apron and all that type of stuff once the airport expands a little bit. So we've done that. Now what we need to do is we need to go into uh, build an air traffic control tower. Best thing to do is to probably place it right in the middle here somewhere, which will be perfect. There you go. So we have done an, a tower. Now that tower needs to be built. So what I am going to do is uh, look, more materials are coming for our work. Uh, now we're, we've, we've spent nearly half a million dollars already just building this stuff, but um, yeah, but that's pretty cool. So everything is uh, under construction. Everything is going really, really well. Hopefully once these are built. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed this up, guys, and uh, let these guys complete everything that they need to build. So I will see you when that is done. Okay guys, there we go. We are nearly done. Uh, it is connected on one end, but it hasn't been connected on the other end. So we're just going to wait. There we go. Perfect. So we'll get all those contractors off. So now it's time to accept your first flight. At this time, we can only accept general aviation flights, a small type of aircraft operated by private pilots, as we haven't yet acquired a commercial license. 
First off, we need to ensure that the runway, the aircraft stands and the airport is open. When this is done, uh, have 5 GA flights land uh, to complete this tutorial step. No worries, we can do that, that's perfect. Looks like these uh, contractors just stay here, do they? Does a bus come and pick them up when there's, when there's nothing to do? Alright, so what we need to do is we need to open our airport. So, airport closed. Open airport, allow general aviation, airport lights on and off are all set up there. Uh, runway assignment mode, well, I'm going to click that. Um, uh, distribute evenly among available runways, I'm, I'm just going to leave that as, as default there. So what we need to do now is we need to wait for our first aircraft to come in, which we are going to do. Here we go. Well, we've got a notifications up there. Uh, new notification, new email about the Airport of the Year awards. Uh, Airport of the Year. Um, uh, my name is Anita, and we met briefly at the Mayor's office. Anyway, as you know, once every uh, oh, hang on, let's just slow this down a little bit. Uh, there we go. Uh, once every year, the Global Aviation Association comes together and votes on which is the world top ranking airport that is awarded the Airport of the Year award. Of course, the city really wants our new investment to do really well, so please try to win that award for us. Um, winning the award is uh, fairly easy if you just put your mind to it. You'll simply need to maintain an average airport rating of at least 95% over three years with a lot of passenger and aircraft throughput. Hmm, okay, that's cool. Uh, what other email? Let's delete that one. Um, what other emails do we have? Performance reports. Um, my name is Alejandro Tinto and I work as a Senior Partner Executive Vice President within Management and Analysis at Accento Finance. I'm reaching out to you because you've recently been appointed CEO of New Airport and I wanted to give you some brief instructions on performing report, performance reporting. Following up on how your airport is doing is extremely important and something that is done through performance reports. There are four categories of performance, economy rating, incident operations. Um, so if you have CFO hired at the end of each business node, they'll send you a report via email. If you have a COO hired at the end of each business node, they'll send you a report on the number of incidents. Perfect. All right. Uh, why I have not opened that runway? Uh, let's open that runway. There we go. <laughs> That's not going to help, is it? Okay. There we go. Let's get to our. Uh, to do that, I clicked on the. Uh, I clicked on the runway and uh, I, uh, I selected the uh, the option to open that. So here we go, that looks like it's a Baron, is that a Baron? Uh, no, it's a Piper, a PA-28 that's just come in, it's not a Baron. Uh, let's see, so it's got information in here, they're requesting fuel services, but we don't have any fuel services at the moment. Um, they're heading to Ayers Rock Airport uh, from Alice Springs, so uh, let's see. That's a uh, Cessna 182 Skyline that's coming in. Uh, they want fuel as well. As I said, we don't have that. I like the information that they give you there. Uh, and you can actually follow those aircraft by doing that, which is pretty cool. Uh, this one here looks like a little uh, Piper again, is it? PA-28, yep, it is. Uh, they, want, uh, they want fuel as well, so... That's interesting. All right, so let's uh, let those. There's where we're waiting for five aircraft to come in. So here comes number four at the moment. Uh, let's just check on our tutorial. Yes, still waiting for five aircraft to come in. All right, so we'll have another one coming in very, very shortly. I'll speed that up a little bit, guys, just for the sake of the video. Uh, normally, I would just sit here and just plane spot the whole time, seriously. Uh, there is animals, you can see animals, uh, you can see some animals running around on there. Now they become a, a big issue if they get onto the uh, onto the runway, so we're probably going to have to fence the runway off at some point, so. Which we shall do, we shall do guys. Okay, this is our fifth aircraft which has come in, that is uh, another PA-28 and they're requesting fuel as well interestingly enough all right so that's it we have done that we've completed that uh get ready for ga flights land if land animals enter the runway or taxiway they can cause damage to aircraft and slow taxiing down build fences around your airport to keep those guys out so what we need to do now is we need to build a fence around this airport so what we will do is we're going to here we've got fences here 
So I'm just going to run a quick fence around here by just clicking and dragging. Uh, I don't need to go too overboard at this point in time because this stuff can actually be changed at, at any time. So I'm just going to go to there. Uh, I'm going to run a fence through there as well like so and run this one up to there all right perfect and i will sh i should i shall just delete that little section there like that lovely all right we have done that and we have achieved that um uh, place at least one fence gate to make it easier for contractors to pass certain areas of your airfield all right so what we need to do now is we've got con contractors coming out to actually build those so as opposed to more coming out here what we need to do is we need to build ourselves a fence gate which is right there now uh, if we zoom in uh, and rotate that place that gate there and then what we want to do is uh, we want to connect this section of fence uh, where's our fence right there we want to connect that section of fence down here so what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to run to there and I'm actually going to run down to there as well and block that area off. Now contractors will use this fence to get in. So uh, we will be building our terminal and stuff in here at some point. But uh, what you will see is that uh, they will actually... There we go, right click on that. These contractors will actually um, start using this gate here as well. We could, probably could have put a gate in there to make it a little bit easier. But uh, they're all running around, they're all building our fence for us, which is awesome. Complete with uh, razor wire on top as well. So let's let them do that and uh, we will speed this up a little bit until they have finished that. And then that'll allow us to move on to the next step for this, uh, for this first look. Because we certainly want to get into putting a little bit of infrastructure in. I mean, obviously we're, we're putting uh, runways and everything in uh, and the tower. But we also need things like uh, we need fuel, the availability for fuel. We need catering and all that type of stuff at some point. Although we won't be doing catering at this point in time. Uh, there we go. Let's see. Oh, we've, oh, is that a little Piper Cub that's just come in? It looks like it might be. Yeah, a little J3 Cub. Yeah, whoa. You can see the flight plan there. That's a that's a long flight for a Piper Cub. Let me tell you, I wouldn't be doing that myself. They don't even need fuel. Ah, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> okay, night time's come, so all the lighting's gone on. Let's uh, speed this up again. Okay, guys, so all the all the uh, all the fencing has been done. There's still a whole pile of rubbish. Oh no, it hasn't been done yet. They're still going. Uh, it, it's night time. It's saying congratulations on your first functional airport. The GA pilots are enjoying your airport, but some are concerned about the lack of aircraft refueling service. Let's get started with constructing all the required structures for a basic refueling service. Let's do it. Okay, first thing, uh, place a vehicle checkpoint. Okay, vehicle checkpoint is in here somewhere, right there. Uh, so what we need to do here is. Uh, Let's rotate that around. Uh, throw that in there, basically. Um, and actually, what we needed to do was remove a little bit of that fence there. Let's remove some fence. Uh, why isn't it allowing me? Oh, yeah, it did allow me to delete that. Let's see. It's not allowing me to delete anything. Uh, there we go, it's allowing me to delete that. So I'm just going to remove that little bit there uh, and then we will replace that actually. So let's uh, rotate that and throw that in like so. So this will be our security checkpoint. Let's click that there. Uh, now, what's it saying? It's saying vehicle checkpoint is not accessible from any world entrance. Now, I had this trouble before. I did have this trouble before. Um, Whereas it wasn't uh, it wasn't connecting to there like that, so I don't know what the I don't know what the issue is. So if we just try and place that once more, uh, this time I might rotate it around that way. Now technically, putting it placing it in there should be okay, like that. That should be all right. So um, the next thing that I just want to do, I just want to fix that fence up as well. So we'll throw that fence through there. And uh, there we go. See, it's connected going that way, but it hasn't connected going the other way. 
all right, connect refueling service, uh, drag the service road and connect the vehicle checkpoint with your uh, aircraft stands. So we've got a uh, we've got a service road right there and we need to connect that with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do it the simple way. Uh, and the way I am going to do it simply is uh, here's service road here. I'm just going to come straight down here like that and line up with that. And then I'm going to come straight through like that and connect that there. So once that road has been built, then uh, that should be okay. All right, perfect. Uh, what I did, uh, what I did suffer before as well when I had a bit of a go was uh, if we deleted that um, was that uh, this point here um, I had to leave that vacant until this road was built. So let's wait until they've done the service road there, guys. Let's uh, do a fast forward on that. All right, guys. So we've nearly got this built now. Uh, the only other thing that we need to do is to uh, basically complete that service road. Oh, where are we? There, there, and there, and throw that in there. And I'm hoping that that'll. Uh, I'm hoping that once that's built, that'll actually sort that out. So uh, they haven't finished building that fence. Is there any reason why they haven't finished building that fence? Because I didn't get them to finish building that fence. That's why. Duh. All right, perfect. Lovely. So we'll get them to finish off that last little bit. Look at all the contractors hanging out there. I didn't take any notices to it. Yes, they are using the gate. There they go. That's perfect. Okay, lovely. So we've got more aircraft coming in. Uh, all right, so construct refueling services. Place a vehicle depot or, serv or service vehicle parking lot, uh, which is also in here, I think. There, no. Where's the airport infrastructure? Right there. Uh, this one here is the vehicle depot. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the vehicle depot just here. Right, uh, pretty pretty close. The first one I'm going to do, I'm going to do pretty close to here. And I'm going to place that in there like that. So that one will be constructed. Uh, and the next thing that I am going to do is place a small avga avgas fuel um, fuel station. So that is in here somewhere. I can't remember exactly where it is. Uh, in here there a small av gas fuel station right there i'm going to rotate that around and i'm actually going to place that right here like that beautiful and uh we'll have that built so we've still got air we've still got aircraft coming in now uh what's that that's a little wt9 dynamic um let's see uh oh yeah they've got a really short flight out to airs rock as well so, which we probably will get a lot of GA aircraft coming in for that. At some point in time, we will allocate a, uh, a specific area for our GA aircraft to actually come in and uh, to park. So we'll have a GA and a commercial flight area. So I'm just going to, uh, these guys are all building this stuff up. I'm going to wait until they've done that. All right, that has been done. So those are now built. So uh, right there, as you can see. All right, so a great, we're almost ready to offer AV gas refueling. All we need now is to purchase a fuel truck and sign a contract. So we need to go into the fuel vehicles um, and, and purchase that. That's in here. That's in vehicles and purchase vehicles. Now there's a fuel truck. What we want to do is we want to have two fuel trucks running for now, I think. So we will uh, order two of those which is awesome, and then uh, we'll wait until those arrive, only for tutorial sake, because then we're going to have to sign a, uh, then we're going to have to sign ourselves a contract, an Avgas fuel contract, and that is a contract to keep the fuel running, uh, and to keep these, uh, keep our main tanks um, fueled up at all times, so that we can actually continue to service these. Uh, there we go. All right, so here they come. You can see how uh, you can see how our trucks are coming in here. The, the really cool thing about this is once they get in here, and I'll show you. Once they get in, then they will, uh, as per airport procedure, they'll uh, put their flashing lights on and start driving with flashing lights on. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, so let's do a uh, let's do a fuel contract. So that is in the economy, I think, and contracts over here. There it is. Now we've got four different fuel 
services here. So we've got highway fuel. You can click on these. Uh, nine uh, hourly fee per contractor, 9.1. Uh, uh, no, that's our contract, you dork. Uh, fuel, uh, this three fuel here, nature fuel, AVO. So AV fuel, 133 per litre. Uh, and Jet A for 28. Uh, 164 per litre and they're doing 156 so these guys here even with the three stars uh, are doing 133 per litre so that's um, uh, and they'll deliver f uh, 400,000 litres per day maximum so that's pretty cool we'll sign that tr contract right there which means that very very shortly we're going to see a little uh, if I just go there we're going to see a fuel truck come in here he will come in here and he'll fill this up and then all of a sudden if we click on there you can see we've got two av gas trucks there uh, we can park 20 airport service vehicles in one of these sheds which is pretty cool so this guy's going to go in here at the moment there's no fuel resupply at 10 percent so um, what i want to do is i want to resupply this at, oh we can't i can't i actually can't i wanted to actually resupply that at a uh, at a greater rate, say for when it gets to 50%, uh, to have one of these trucks come back in and uh, there we go, I can now. So maybe about 50%, so basically, when this gets to 50%, um, then um, like that, then another fuel truck will come out because you can see two, one of those trucks nearly took all of that. So uh, now what we need to do is we need to go back into uh, our operations and we need to um where is it where is it where is it uh, avgas we need to turn avgas uh, fueling services on and now any aircraft that do come in say like this one for example who requires his requested fuel uh should come in and uh, should get refueled and here goes the truck absolutely perfect there we go uh and he'll go up he'll refuel that i i would like to know how much so he's got um 100 liters so what i want to, what i'm interested to see is exactly how much um of what he has on board he uses for one particular aircraft now no different aircraft are going to be different and later on we'll get semi trucks with um for when we're refueling uh with jet a and stuff like that but uh in he goes he's going to go into there i want to see how much he actually uses so he's going to go into the refueling. Oh, check him. He gets out too. Look at that. That is awesome. Okay, so he's used 1%. So he's used 1% to refuel that. That's actually that's actually pretty cool. All right, there you go. So that's good stuff. Uh, as you can see, because we set that for 50%, a drop below 50%. And you can see how long it takes for them to arrive too. So basically... Uh, I want, to, I want to maintain a, a decent amount of, uh, of, of fuel in here. I don't want to run out of fuel when there's aircraft coming in uh, and wanting refueling. So uh, refuel 5GA aircraft. So there you go, guys. That is the first look of Airport CEO. Now, this is only the scratching the surface of this game. If you have a look at everything that's in here, your economy, your staff, uh, each one of these has four tabs underneath them. This one's got five tabs. Your vehicle management, so you can set colours. So, well, let's let's do it. Let's set colours for this. Uh, yes, let's do that. Let's put that in a colour preset. Uh, so we'll go into that preset. Let's set up a preset colour for those. Yeah, something like that. It's close enough. Close enough, anyway. Okay, so there we go. We've set colours on those. Um, but... Um, pretty well then you need to get into at some point in time once we start building up uh, and get into positive incomes servicing certain vehicles and get through some of this we're going to have to build ourselves a terminal we're going to have to manage the terminal we're going to have to expand the airport expand the lands um, sign contracts with uh, with um, uh, large airlines you know start off with smaller airlines build up to the larger airlines, build up to larger international flights and all that type of stuff, add heaps more infrastructure. But as you can see, everything is so complex. It is so complex, but um, which is 
part of the stuff that I absolutely love about these games. But that is Airport CEO. If you liked it, don't forget there's a link down below. Hit like and uh, subscribe to the channel. Definitely come and join us on Twitch. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Airport CEO. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.